Okay, well, good evening, everyone. Thank you again for joining us for another episode of Exploring Dream Vacations with Travel Pros. Um, tonight, we have Oceana Cruises with Maggie Dela Cruz. She is going to show you, sorry, um, Oceana Cruises, Your World, Your Way. She is going to go over all the sh ships and the, not the itineraries, every single one, because they do have so many amazing cruises. We can kind of get lost in each of those destinations. I know I would. Um, but she's going to kind of give you a breakdown about what makes them so special. I um, haven't uh, had the privilege of cruising on Oceana, but it is definitely on my agenda. And we were just talking about the world cruises that they do. How amazing would that to be for a couple of months and visit um, country to country and see what the world can offer you? I am definitely looking forward to that. My name is Jennifer Garris. I am the president and travel agent with uh, Travel Pros. I'm located in Norfolk, Virginia. We've been in operation now for over 25 years. Uh, so we're very seasoned agents. Um, and thankfully we have a lot of wonderful clients that have been with us since the very beginning. Our goal here tonight is to show you what makes Oceana so special. We just want to enlighten you about what we know already and show you why. And so thankfully, Ms. Uh, Maggie is here. And we also have Glenda Stevens from Houston. Um, if you think of Jennifer with travel, please think of Glenda because she really is the backbone of this company. She's the one that keeps us organized and straight and knows just as much as I do and is here to help you. And um, one last thing I did not want to forget is um, happy Veterans Day to all of you that have served for us and have kept us safe. We really appreciate what you've done and the sacrifice you and your family have made. God bless you. And um, I'm going to turn this over now to Maggie. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Um, thank you, Glenda, also for all of your support. Um, so, yes, like she mentioned, my name is Maggie de la Cruz, and I am the business development manager for Oceana Cruises. And I cover a pretty large territory, anything let's say east of the Mississippi. So, so it's, it's pretty, pretty expansive, but um, I love what I do. I've been with Oceana for a little bit over, over five years. Um, I started in the call center with reservations and now I am here um, as a business development manager and I love it. So let's get started. But before we do that, I wanna share this video. It's a very short, quick, um, sweet video. And that video always tugs at my heart because I feel like that's exactly what we've all been living in this past 19 months. Um, we want to remember why we travel, which is the one reason why we are all here, right? Because if there's anything we all agree on is that we love travel. Um, that's the one thing that connects us all. And I, you know, just when I think about my past vacations um, and I can remember the scents, you know, I can almost hear the ocean, maybe because I'm in Miami and I'm close to the ocean, but um, I could still hear it in my heart. And, you know, those are the memories that, that linger. So we want to continue to build memories. We want to be able to mark off the items off our bucket list, like Jennifer and I were talking about, you know, maybe doing an around the world when, when I retire, right? Um, or who knows, maybe I can finally go to Santorini, which is on my bucket list. 
Um, it got postponed for my birthday, but I plan on doing that. So, you know, building memories with families, creating new friendships. So that's what it's all about. Um, it's it, and immersing yourself in the different cultures as well and seeing what the world has to offer. But, you know, we also understand that um, safety and, and health is top of mind for everyone right now. So before we get on to all the fun stuff, I did want to go over a couple of, you know, safety measures that we have um, been working on. So for the past 18, 19 months, we've been very busy. We haven't just sat on the sidelines, um, you know, waiting for COVID to come and go. We've been very, very busy preparing for your return. We want to make sure that your safety and, you know, not just our guests, but our crew members alike um, have the safest experience possible. So we've been working closely with the CDC um, and our healthy sale panel, and they've come up with a 75 page, um, you know, uh, advisory, you know, from the advisory panel with the recommendations and policies and procedures that we need to abide by. And we're OK with that. So, um, you know, as our CEO, Frank Del Rio says, we were not going to sail until he felt it was safe for his family to sail. And that's exactly what we've done. Um, so, you know, we have our enhanced um, air filtration system, which is um, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's incredible. It's like a hospital grade air filtration system. And here's the thing. Once all of this is said and done, we've already implemented a lot of these changes and upgrades and enhancements, and they are here to stay. So even when COVID is in the history books, because it will be, our kids, our, our grandkids will be reading about it, right? Um, it, it, we'll already be prepared and, and, and ready for anything. So, you know, we'll have, um, we constantly have a disinfection on board our ship 24 seven in the common areas. We have health officers on board, making sure that we're abiding by all of these protocols and procedures. We, you know, we are our shoreside partners as well. We've communicated with them, you know, our expectations and our, our, our policies, and they must adhere to them as well. You know, we are a 100% vaccination um, cruise line. So, you know, all of our guests on board and staff, you know, crew alike, even in the, on, on their land here at the office at corporate. I went into the office the other day for a meeting and I hadn't been to the office for a while and they pulled me aside and I had to take an antigen test just to go into the meeting, even though I've been vaccinated. So it may take a little bit more, 10, 15 minutes off my time, but at the end of the day, it gives me peace of mind. And that's what we all want, right? Peace of mind. We want to be able to enjoy our vacation safely and um, and be able to have peace of mind. So um, there's a whole slew of, of policies that um, we have here that I could probably take up the rest of the presentation with, but please go to our website and those are constantly being updated because things are constantly changing. So mask on, mask off, all that stuff, right? So if you have any questions, either reach out to Jennifer and she'll fill you in, um, or Glenda, or you, know, you can see it on our website as well. And so for those of you that are not familiar with Oceana Cruises, I do want to give you a, um, an idea. So our, our pillars of distinction that Oceana Cruises was founded on are small ship luxury, the finest cuisine at sea, and our curated travel experiences. Those are the pillars that set us apart and that what we're really known for. So Oceana Cruises was basically um, built to bridge that gap between this uber, super luxurious, all-inclusive ships, and then some of the contemporary you know, ships as well. So we saw that there was a gap there and um, some of the clients were kind of left out like that's too expensive. Well, that's too cheap. And this is that. so we just kind of found our, you know, the happy place. And the truth is, is our ships. Are the perfect size. Um, they're still very luxurious. So some will argue that we should be under the luxury um, category, but we are actually upper premium and, and that's our specialty. So um, once, you know, uh, our, our guests sail on one of our ships, that's when they realize, wow, this feels great. You know, the attention to detail from the staff um, because it's so small that, you know, they feel at home. And that's what we want them to feel. We want them to feel at home when they step on board on one of our ships or at least the home that 
they wish they had, which is my case, right? Because my home doesn't look like that. But um, so just so that you get an idea um, how we measure up because size does matter. Um, these are the different cruise lines that um, you can compare us to and see the difference in size. Now, we've also experienced an influx of new to brand gas recently and more than ever, and that's because a lot of people prefer to sail with hundreds and not thousands, and that's what they're looking for. They don't want the long lines, no waiting. It's so easy to get on and off our ships. It's, it, I mean, it's, I remember being in, in Key West at the port and I had forgotten my sunblock, so I just ran off, went to CVS, purchased it, came right back on. No big deal. And then the other thing about the smaller ships is if you've sailed, um, you know, to many places or around the world, think of all of those ports that those large ships can't get into that Oceana Cruises can. So we can take you right there into those ports. So let's talk about our ships. So we have um, our regatta class, which has um, capacity for 684 guests, and we have four ships. So it's regatta, nautica. Insignia and Sirena. That's what makes our regatta class. And our regatta class actually has a loyal following from our past guests. Um, they're a little bit smaller than our O class, but you know, they they just, I mean, the insignia, for instance, she's the one that does the around the world. Why? Because she can get into a lot of those, you know, smaller ports. Um, and so they they've kind of developed a following and, and, and people have just fallen in love with our smaller ships. And so here is our Oceana class. It's a little bit larger, 1,250 guests, still very small compared to the industry average, and that's Marina and Riviera. Now, the difference with these two ships is that they have um, a little bit more of, you know, venues that they you can take advantage of. So, for example, we have the Culinary Center um, on this ship, which is actually something that Oceana Cruises pioneered. Uh, the Culinary Center, we have the Artist Loft. And so, um, you know, this will give your, your, you know, give you other experiences that you can take advantage of. And then now, recently in September, we just launched our newest Vista. So this is our shiny new toy that we are so proud and so excited about. She will set sail in April of 2023. So once you see that, I mean, this is why people tend to argue about us being upper premium or luxury. We are just so luxurious that I could see where the confusion would lie. Now, the Vista class, they are a little bit larger, so it's kind of like the O class, the Marina and the Riviera. However, we will be carrying less guests, only 1,200 guests. So that increases the guest to staff ratio even more. So for every three guests, you will have um, two, two staff members. So it's, I mean, the, the, the attention to detail and the personal feeling is just incredible. And that's really what most of our guests really appreciate. Vista will offer nine best in class culinary experiences. She's certainly more culinary focused than, and has more dining options than any of our other vessels. So let's take a look a little bit around the ship. So these are um, our suites and staterooms where they range anywhere from 150 to 2,000 square feet. Regardless of the category, all of our guests are treated to a luxurious um, you know, night's sleep um, upon our, what is, it's our tranquility mattress. Yes, yeah, so our tranquility mattress, everyone loves them. Um, so much so that we've had guests want to purchase them after their vacation, because of course, everyone wants to bring a little bit of that Oceana 
um, luxury, that O life back home. So we've um, come up with a way that our guests can purchase that. And once you sleep on one of our Tranquility mattress, you will remember why I'm saying this. So anyway, so the penthouse suite um, that we're looking at here is one from our O class. And as you can see, there's a lot of space. Um, you can have your butler serve you course by course meal if you don't feel like you want to step down to any of our dining venues. Um, or maybe just one of the nights you want to eat in. Absolutely, you can um, have that. Your meal served here with the, plenty of space. The other one is the concierge level veranda stateroom. That's 216 square feet in the R class. And then our veranda stateroom bathrooms on the O class, as you can see, they're very, very spacious. So all of our ships have been re-inspired within the last year or so. So everything is um, squeaky clean, brand new, beautiful. <laughs> And then from the Vista class, this is something that our past guests have asked us for and um, and, and our team came together and, and was able to, to provide it. So it's the concierge solo veranda stateroom. It's 270 square feet, but as you can see, they also have a veranda and a separate sitting area, which is very, very nice. And on board Vista class, actually, she's the first ship um, that we have that is all verandas. So there are no inside staterooms. So that's really nice too. And then these are just some of the spaces um, along the ship. This is our grand um, staircase on Vista. And believe it or not, this is an iconic element of the Oceana Cruises brand. So this is where every new Oceana Cruises um, journey begins. This is where everyone comes in and they are greeted by a string quartet as you're boarding. And people like to just take pictures there because this is this is where it all starts right there. And then on the bottom left, you have the our martinis bar. Um, you can see the, like their little separate alcoves that you can settle in before or after um, dinner. And then you have the Grand Lounge also with the Grand Piano there. It evokes just a feeling of luxury and like a like a private club. It's a relaxing yet elegant, um, you know, where you can sit down for a nightcap or just kind of hang out with fellow explorers and make new friends. And our service. So we we have above average number of return guests and based on the um surveys that we've done our return rate is about 60 percent of the, our guests return because of our service so the reason why they first sailed with us was because we're known for the finest cuisine at sea and also for our destinations but 60 percent of them said that they returned to oceana cruises it was because of the service and so, of course, not surprisingly, that's why we did what we did with the Vista, which is we increased, um, you know, two staff members for every three guests. And our second pillar is our exquisitely crafted cuisine. Uh, that's our commitment to we have a commitment to serve the finest cuisine at sea, and we work hard on this day after day. We rival the finest Michelin starred restaurants ashore, and we offer many dining options for you at no additional cost. And so the fulfillment of this commitment really starts with our culinary team and 25% of the staff on board is completely dedicated to the culinary experience. So cuisine has been a hallmark of our brand from the beginning, and it was first inspired by our master chef Jacques Pepin. I know you've all heard of him. He's fabulous. And then so our setting, we have multiple open seatings um, in all of our complimentary dining venues. We have um, all sorts. We have the Grand Dining Room, which is continental dishes. We have the Polo Grill, which is our classic steakhouse. We have Toscana, which serves traditional Tuscan cuisine on Versace China. We have Tuscan Steak, which is our signature specialty dining venue um, on board Sirena. We have Red Ginger, which everyone loves. It was recognized as one of the best restaurants at sea by USA Today. So our award-winning Red Ginger serves Asian classics. And then we have Jacques, which is modeled after Parisian Bistro. It's exquisitely decorated with some of the antiques and paintings from his very own personal collection. Terrace Cafe is also a very favorite. Um, it's an informal venue, um, but you have I, what I consider my favorite backdrop, which is the city that you're at, the port that you're at. 
And to me, that's that's amazing to be able to to fade off into the sunset while you can see in the background. Um, our waves grill also very informal. That's by the pool, but you still can have your surf and turf. And then we have the Horizons Lounge, which I never drank tea before, but high tea on Oceana Cruises is amazing. It's a must try. You have the string quartet. Um, you know, finger the white um, white gloves serving. You know, the finger sandwiches and the scones with the tea. It you just feel so so royal like, you know. And and ever since then, now I will take a cup of tea. <laughs> and of course, the ingredients, because as Jack himself has said, a lousy tomato is a lousy tomato, no matter what you do with it. So if the ingredients are, are subpar, no matter how amazing the chef is, the meal will be subpar, right? So with that in mind, um, we are obsessed with the ingredients that we use. So for example, our fruits, vegetables, and dairy, they are all sourced locally throughout each cruise. And unlike most cruise lines, our seafood is never frozen. It's either locally caught or air freight overnight on ice. And our lobster, actually, our lobster is um, purchased from a family of fishermen that's been doing this for decades, and we purchased their entire catch for the season. Very helpful because you can have lobster at any time at no additional cost. <laughs> And then there's our plant-based cuisine. So more and more guests want to eat healthy or at least want to have the option, right, to eat healthy. And what, you know, what was a niche has actually become more mainstream for us. So we started with the juice bar on board Riviera and Marina serving smoothies and fresh juices and energy bowls. But now we have over 250 plant-based items on our menu. Who would have known? <laughs> Aquamar Kitchen. So she is new. She is Aquamar Kitchen is um, on board Vista only. And um, in, the, in the Aquamar Kitchen, we offer an abundance of indulgence with none of the guilt. So breakfast selections include cold pressed raw juices, superfood smoothies, hearty homemade granolas, avocado toast, organic power bowls, and savory breakfast wraps. For lunch, we have dozens of tempting, healthy dishes as well, offered such as slow roasted organic salmon with quinoa, tabbouleh, and lemon tahini, yellowfin tacos with white cabbage slaw, or even a crunchy chicken sandwich on a freshly baked whole grain bun. Now, that has to be my favorite. And then our curated travel experiences. So this is our third pillar. But I really feel that this is what sets us apart from our worthy competitors. It's our curated travel experiences. Now, a lot of thought goes into the itinerary planning. And our founder, um, CEO Frank Del Rio, he is personally involved and he is always taking particular interest in the itinerary planning and that attention to detail is reflected in our itineraries. So you're going to always see a balance of marquee ports like Monte Carlo paired with more boutique, less common ports like Cinque Terre, which is what you can see right here. And um, Cinque Terre is actually five beautiful little villages that hug the rocky Italian coast. So we are very port intensive and offer many overnight stays like Venice, Istanbul and St. Petersburg, for instance, because if you're in St. Petersburg, you want to do the Russian ballet in the evening. So we give you plenty of hours and port to be able to enjoy the culture and immerse yourself in the culture. And these are just some of the places that we visit. So yes, we sail the world. Voyages ranging anywhere from seven to 180 days. 180 days is our around the world. Although many of our guests actually add additional extensions to that. Um, to some 180 days on board a ship sounds like, wow, that's a long time to be on a ship. But out of those 180 days, 100 of them, maybe even more, we're at ports. 
So you're not really on board the ship. You're in a different country all the time, experiencing different things all the time. So before you know it, the ATW is over. So a lot of our guests actually pick some extensions and, and add more. So you visit over 100 countries with 450 ports to call upon. And then our excursions, over 3,000 tours and excursions. So the culinary discovery tours, and I'm just going to give you a, a, a brief synopsis of a couple of them. So culinary discovery tour, because of course we are the foodie cruise line, right? So let's say, so think of the chef giving you a recipe, but when you get on port, you can go with the chef and go to the local market and purchase the ingredients to come back on board and prepare the meal. And then once you're done preparing the meal, you can actually enjoy it with the wine pairing with the rest of the class. I, I mean, it just sounds so much fun and, and it's different, right? It, it brings pleasure into cooking. Our go local tours are very immersive. Um, you can go truffle hunting with the dogs in Marseille. Perhaps you want to go fishing with one of the local fishermen in Portofino. Um, and not only go fishing, but take a, a dip and go swimming, um, you know, and then prepare the fish and enjoy it again, because it's all about the food with us, right? We have our wellness tours. Think of meditation in an olive garden. And then our food and wine tours. Um, we actually have a, a, an amazing tour, which is touring the Bocelli estate in Italy. So you actually get to go into their, um, their winery and, and see where Andrea Bocelli's family, um, you know, like their, their farmhouse and, and actually the recording studio for him. And there's one that even will end with a meal and a private concert from his, I think it's his son, Matteo Bocelli. So, I mean, just so many interesting things. It, it goes beyond just the casual shore excursion, hop on, hop off tour, right? It's not just taking the pictures of, you know, of these places. It's actually, be, you know, getting immersed into them and learning about their culture. And then value without compromise, because small ship luxury, exquisitely crafted cuisine, and our curated travel experiences. Those are all wonderful, right? But we know what you really want is the best value, right? So even here too, Oceana has thought, you know, let's put something together and they have an incredible concept that will allow you to get the most of your money without missing out on anything that you truly desire. So rest assured, you will not be nickeled and dimed. Um, these are the inclusives with our everyday um, sailing. So you have free internet, free specialty dining restaurants, free room service 24 hours a day, free shuttles from port to city center, free fitness classes, free still and sparkling Vera water, free soft drinks and free specialty coffees, and then free laundrette. That's to me, that's very important. And then our O-Life choice. So we like to say that we are inclusive by choice because you can manage your vacation experience how you want it. If you are interested in an alcoholic beverage package, it can be included. If you're interested in the shore excursions, it can be included. If you're interested in the beverage package, oh, I said that, you can be included. The shipboard credit could be included. So you can pick one of those three, shipboard credit, shore excursions, and the house select beverage package. And always, of course, we also offer the round trip airfare and the transfers. And um, as part of the Travel Pros event offer, so if you have make any new bookings between today and November 26th, we will offer you a $200 shipboard credit on anything that's in a veranda category or above. And if it's in an inside stateroom, then it will be $100 shipboard credit. I am pretty sure that Jennifer also has some other exclusive dates that will include prepaid gratuities. So please reach out to her on those specific dates and um, she'll be sure to share those with you. 
So just to recap everything that's included, because I know I spoke a lot. Um, so round trip air is included, Wi-Fi is included, specialty restaurant dining is included, room service 24 seven is included, shuttles from Port to City Center is included, fitness classes and the Aquamar Center, non-alcoholic beverages and specialty coffees, laundrette, Olive, and then of course the special um, show offer. And just to clarify on the beverage package, so all of the meals are included. And then as far as beverages, anything like sodas, coffees, juices, um, teas, all of that is included. The only thing that is not is any alcoholic beverages, but you can select it as part of your Olive choice. And there you will have that included as well. And there you have the, the full package. Well, that's oh, wonderful. One of so, the uh, people, people had, asked had asked me about, about the, um, the, um, the old the life. And life if and one person picks person beverages, beverages okay. do both people have to pick have beverages? beverages? That is correct. So it's the same old life choice for the stateroom. Okay. okay. Perfect. Yeah, I, I'm kind of mad at you. <laughs> because I'm sitting here looking at this video and this food. <laughs> and I realized I didn't eat dinner beforehand. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was texting Linda, you know, during this, like, oh, my gosh, I, I want some shrimp and now I want some lobster and everything else that you have on there. And then the tranquility said. <laughs> yes. I was like, oh, gosh, I should have eaten. But I'm so glad I got to see that because we do try to live by a gluten-free diet. Um, and, and I'm so happy to see that, and I, I should have watched your videos earlier. It's, it's been a couple of years, like you said, it's 19 months. And then as soon as I start looking at the cruises and, and the itineraries again, some things have changed and it's for the better. Right. And that's, that's the key thing I've gotten out of, of doing this is everybody is really stepping it up and, and showing people they can live life, they can be safe and happy. And I love it. And I love the new things that you're bringing to the table. As far as the ship goes, the Vista, oh my gosh, amazing. So beautiful. Um, and of course, you know, I'm definitely a fan of my mattress. Um, I need to have your mattress because I'm sure that, you know, my dog... My dogs take over this bed, so I need my own bed. And um, but just everything that I just saw, well, everybody I, that I know that loves Oceana already is going to love them even more. Right. And, and especially the fact that when it comes to safety, I mean, we have taken so much precautions that I personally, I would feel safer on one of our ships than going into my supermarket. And I go to Publix at least two or three times a week. So you know, once you take that out of the equation and, you know, everyone is vaccinated, it's just it's just it just tends you know, serves for a, a easier and more comforting experience. And that's what we want. We want everyone to be at ease and get away from everything. You know, we've had people say, I didn't want to come back because it was like. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we just have some clients that are interested in their vacations for next year. And, you know, one of the things I did find is because there had been so many cancellations, you know, and people have credits to travel at another time, the popular cruises like Alaska, things that are limited to a certain period of time within the year, sell out. Sell out. And when they go to like, well, I want to go in July and they pick a date and it's already sold out. They're like, why? It's so early. I'm like, so not necessarily people book years two years in advance normally even under the norm right like you said right. under the circumstances the because these aren't you know weekend getaways these are far exotic you know bucket items right so people have been planning for this for a long time so they actually book really far out and now with the current environment it's it's even more so because they want to be able to get the the stateroom that they like because a lot of our, our repeat guests want the same stateroom um, or know where they want to be on the ship at least because they've already experienced it. So book early, you know, our shore excursions are uploaded into the system 365 days out. Wow. So, so it sounds like a lot, but 
you know, it gives you time to plan it and say, you know, I want to have this, that and the other. So when then when your dining reservations open up, I always encourage do them before you go on board. Plan your vacation, you know, at home when you have the time and coordinate your shore excursion and your dining times, your show times, all of that. So then when you're on board, you can just take it all in and enjoy it. Yeah, well, part of the excitement about going on vacation is the planning stuff. And, you know, uh, Glenda's cousin's just coming back from Jamaica. And I was like, and he was like, it's just something in my soul. It cha- it just changed. So I guarantee they're already planning their next vacation. <laughs> and I that's how I look at it. You know, of course, I'm a travel agent and I travel a lot. But I'm always thinking about where can I go next? And that's my goal. That's my happy place. Mm-hmm. You know, I start thinking about that and I'll automatically smile. So I think people, if they booked early, you know, even though they have a lot of pressure and a lot of things that are going on right now in life, if they just had some a goal and know that they're going to be going away, those days start going by fast. And as soon as they realize it, they're on a plane. Right. And they're like, this is amazing. I'm so glad I made that decision. So um, you just tempted me. I have several people I'm going to email tomorrow and say, listen, we have a promotion. Um, we're part of Travel Leaders. And, you know, at, um, with the select sailings, they also get like an exclusive um, excursion as being part of the Travel Leaders. So we're going to do some promotion here and um, see what we can do. Get a group together for you. Excellent. Excellent. I look forward to that. Me too. And um, <laughs> Glenda, do you have any questions for tonight? Only you can see? I join the group that we're going to put together? That's <laughs> what I'm thinking. I'm like, you're just taking it in saying, hmm, which one oh, are we going to join do? the group? <laughs> yes, we can just all join. <laughs> yes. Well, I think it's been amazing tonight. I really do appreciate it. And now I'm starving because, and I want shrimp and I'll have shrimp in my house. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to go warm up my TV dinner. Not fun. <laughs> no. When we on the sailing, eating all that. And as, all, and as much as you want, and a lot of folks don't realize that if you want another tail, you can have another lobster tail, you right. know? Yeah, it's, it's all included. So to me, that's that's a wonderful thing not to have to worry about that. Yes. Me that too. Bill that they put on the underneath the door while you're asleep. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to change because it is what it is. You've already you've already booked everything before you even got on board. So now if you go shopping, that's different. That's a <laughs> but duty free shopping on, on while you're at sea, you can get some amazing deals and beautiful jewelry. Yes, but with, but with us, you'll pretty much know what you will be paying up front. It won't come as a surprise at the end. That's not going to happen. <laughs> well, Maggie, this has been wonderful. And, um, you know, what? we're definitely recording this. I didn't, I don't know if I announced that in the beginning, but I will have it uploaded and I'll send it to you. And okay. again, really, really do appreciate you being here tonight with us. Absolutely, Jennifer. My pleasure. Thank you, Glenda, for everything, for your support as well. All right. Well, have a great evening. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Take care. Bye.